Today I want to do an experiment to see whether or not aluminum foil can actually stop this ice from melting. So we're going to have three different bowls here, one without aluminum foil, one with just one sheet here, and then one that we're going to wrap in three sheets with the idea being that the air gaps between each layer of aluminum foil will stop the ice from melting. I'm going to put in 10 ice cubes in each of these and as I load that up, we're gonna talk about why aluminum foil might actually help ice stay cold for longer. In theory, there are two main ways that aluminum foil should stop ice from melting. The first is its reflective property. So aluminum foil actually is extremely great at reflecting heat radiation. So there's three different ways that heat can radiate and I'll link up to my article on aluminum foil and its insulating properties down below. But basically, as heat radiation comes in, aluminum foil is so reflective that it bounces 97% of that heat radiation away. But also the other idea is that by wrapping it up, you're protecting it from some of the outside air temperature. This one especially that is triple wrapped will have air pockets between each layer of aluminum foil and those air pockets are what's going to be powerful in stopping the ice from melting. If we touch this ice, obviously it's going to be cold. If we touch this, then I can feel that's definitely cold. The heat still transfers through it. If I touch this one on the bottom, look, it still feels just as cold as this one, but it's difficult to tell just using my hands. What we're going to do now is we will come back once this ice has completely melted or almost completely melted, and then we'll compare the three and see which performed better. It's currently 12.48 p.m. I'll be back soon. Okay, it's been a little over an hour and a half and I've just unwrapped these to show you the results. So if we look at just the regular ice here, we can see a couple of little pieces, one, two, three, four, five pieces left. We have a look in here, it's a bit harder to see, so I'm gonna go ahead and tip it out so we can do a comparison here. And we can see that yes, there is a bit more ice, but truthfully, I kind of expected better. I expected it to last more, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces in there. So definitely more ice than if you just leave it, but it's not breaking any records here. And this is the one where we used multiple layers of aluminum foil. And we can see there the difference between those two. Well, let's zoom out and have a look at the three. So we can definitely see that, yes, it performs better than just ice on its own but it doesn't perform exceptionally well. So it's a little bit better. This is better again. These pieces are a lot bigger. That would probably last, you know, another hour or two hours. So I could reasonably see this ice lasting up to four hours. And that was only a really small amount of ice. So if we used a lot more, then I think the difference would have been bigger. But yes, aluminium foil can stop ice from melting, but it isn't that great at it. You more want to use it as a supplement to something that is already great. So a cooler or something like this, this is a Hydroflask Trail series, absolutely love this one. But these vacuum insulated bottles, this can keep ice for three days even. So. If we have this, if we then went ahead and wrapped this up in the alfoil, then it would extend the life of this hydro flask. But as we can see, not by a lot. So if you're in an absolute pinch, yes, you can use aluminium foil to keep ice longer. I recommend using multiple layers, as many layers as you can to get the best result, which we saw here. But if possible, try and get something like this, an insulated vacuum flask that's going to hold ice a lot longer or get something like this. This is an insulated lunchbox from Hydro Flask and this can hold ice for up to a day. So you could also combine this with your aluminium foil. So aluminium foil in here, shut that, that could do it. So I'll link up to these two products down below as well as some alfoil if you wanna go ahead and grab that. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I found it interesting. I was hoping for slightly better results than this, but it's still cool to see that yes, it does work, just maybe not as well as I expected.